Welcome back, Poseidon, to the Bubble Battle Bash. Bubble Battle Bash. Bubble Battle Bash. Bubble 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 Bubble, bubble Battle Bash. <clears throat> We're so glad to have you back here. We have a very special guest with us. Yes, that's right. Another one of our fighters. I am Frozen Hot Sauce, and my beautiful hostess with the most is... Summer, SRV, the Sunyan. We have Slash Zaku here with us today. Mm. Hi, Slash Zaku. How are you? Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that's real. That's real slash. <laughs> but hey, we keep, it, we keep it real out here in Poseidon. Very well, welcome good. Welcome well, to the games. I'm very glad that you're here at the Bubble Battle Bash because we are again playing all these games for charity. Do you, do you, are, I, do you like that you get to support and uh, spread an awareness for uh, Extra Life? I think that lets me play more fighting games I'm happy with. <laughs> so, so, hey, Slash is the individual that will literally like Kool-Aid man through a wall at the faintest whiff of a fighting game. Slash has been one of the biggest supporters from the get-go of our little fight club we've we've had going on here. And I honestly can't thank you enough for, for showing up and keeping that passion for the FGC going. Let's start it off actually with some fighting games. What is the thing that got you into them in the first place? So my dad, when I was when I was a little baby, well, he tells me this at least. When I was a little baby, he would sit me in his lap while he played Virtua Fighter. <laughs> the first. That's really nice. And, and then growing up, growing up, we played a lot in Tekken Three, and Ooh. he would always beat my ass. I am the king of Iron Fist. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! But then, of course, you would have to surpass him and throw him off a cliff, him. right? Yeah, and I did. Yeah. good, good, good. All right. <laughs> so, if you were to win today's tourneys and the matches, who would you actually dedicate your wins to? I'm not very good at that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> not even to your dad and be like, "Ha, look, Dad! I was able to beat other people's ass." Or anybody else in VR, you know, that might hmm. be a fighting game fan that still hasn't come to our fight club. That you might say, "Hey, look at." I want some name. Put Hive on blast. <laughs> yes. Oh. Hive, yes. Oh no! Why would he do that? You're so bad. It's, it's, it's oh totally my god. Applying. Anyway. No, I know. I know. Hive, I'm sorry. I do not condone any of this. It's okay. We got you. It's fine. I love I'm you very for you, much. Hive. Tell me, what's what's your favorite fighting game and your favorite fighting game character? It's hard. Tekken at the top. Really, just any of them. Guilty Gear, Virtual Fighter. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, that makes sense. You just told us, you know, there's some sentiment to it as well. Mm. I dig it. I dig it. But who's your favorite fighting game of top three characters? Top of my head, Horang. I don't even play him very much. He's just a cool character. Tina from Dead or Alive. Okay. <laughs> Is there any other type of genre games that you're interested in? Like puzzles, RPGs, MMOs? Boomer shooters. As they're so affectionately called now, I like sh I like throwback genres in general, like arcade racers. Oh, so does it mean that you might be games. a fan of like maybe Galaga, perhaps? Yeah. Ooh, and asteroids? Or am I or am I thinking too far back? Those are the ones that I am I'm into. <laughs> <laughs> like like think like Doom Eternal or like there's this game called V Heat. Victory Heat Rally. That's a really good one. Buck up and buck up and drive. Ar arcadey, old school arcadey oh. kind of, but like with modern technology, that sort of stuff. Mm. No, that's the kind of stuff you need. Like you know, you can put in like the cheat codes, and you get like the big head cars or like oh the my god, unlimited <laughs> rockets or something. Like, <laughs> Is I, well, that I mean, what old the games, games had? old games had codes. Yeah, oh. we don't change here in VR. We keep the community alive. We keep it going. What sort of stuff do you like doing in VR outside of of uh, just you know punching VR or, or punching people in fighting games? Mm. I don't really. I usually only get on if I have a reason. <laughs> so Fair like I'm enough. going to an event, watching a movie. Battle bash, bubble bash. Battle bash. We do, we do, we do indeed really like to play, watch movies and be social with our friends, especially mm -hmm. since uh, VR chat is a social platform and it is very much it's in the name. Mm. Chat, chat. <laughs> uh, that's right. Take notes, Meta. We were here first. Get out of here. All right. I'm sorry. Look, having no feet, take his, my take ass. <laughs> having no feet, my ass. What actually brought you to Poseidon? This man. Oh, Look. geez. <laughs> It was it like literally it was just like I was talking about fighting games. I will talk about I will can and will talk about fighting games all day. And, and then he's like did. he basically went 
fighting games you say <laughs> i remember too the world there was there there was that one map we were up in the corner there was like diamonds jutting out of the walls or like crystals or something yeah no we if there's fighter game conversation we will emerge out of the the, the woodworks it's just <laughs> it's a strange phenomenon you'll find here in vr chat it's it's i don't know how it works Note to self, do not talk about fighting games in VR. <laughs> no, it's great. You, you need you'll, company. You'll end up, you'll end up getting a frozen coming through games. the world. <laughs> you are one of our gods of the sea. Tell us a little bit about what that title means and how you got it. I mean, mine was kind of a... <laughs> Mine was kind of a pity trident. What? <laughs> it was a, not a pity trident, but it was, I was like one of the two people that showed up that day. <laughs> like, but it was like right after the holidays, so nobody really had time. But it was just like point to make though is even even with just a couple of us, we always have fun well with these events. Uh, the God of the Sea title is acquired by whoever wins said Titans of the Sea, which is, you know, we, we do this whole Fight Club thing to introduce people to fighting games. We just heard from, you know, our last interviewee, hasn't even played fighting games, doesn't matter, showed up to, to see what it's all about. That's what this is mm. all for. We're here to spread, you know, have you heard of our Lord and Savior, the <laughs> fighting game community? Do you like fighting games? No. Would you like to? Do get that reaction role for the Fight Club, and, and typically we try to keep it so that there's free games that we're getting our hands on, but um, you know, we always put up a vote and, and would like to you know, embrace you into our warm, welcoming, and, and hype community. But yes, I would also like to offer a big hype and a big shout out to our, our other sponsors helping out with our gamers, being able to uh, uh, access games that we are actually hosting tonight out of their goodness of the generosity and stuff in their heart because they're mm. awesome beans. And they did want to be able to help and support for tonight's event. And it they actually were able to make a couple of our players able to play the games and so that's very nice of them and we really appreciate them so shout out to you love you faceless mask yes which is also the one that donated our 200 dollars grand prize wow which, uh, could be up to, to to yeah yeah in the form of a, a nice marvel versus capcom 2 relic that's uh, going to be very exciting to the winner but make sure you're also going into our donation and uh, page for the raffles and voting for either the rollback rays or the combo clams because whoever wins that vote um as well as how you know however they perform um will all get a big surprise at the end so it doesn't matter who gets the grand prize though everybody on the team will win something but it all depends on you voting, getting that charity to its goal, and then, hey, getting some cool free stuff in the meantime. Oh, no, Summer. Where'd you go? I lost you. <laughs> Come back. We're focusing on Zaku. We're focusing on Zaku. Don't worry about it. We're focusing on Zaku. Don't worry about it. It's well, okay. No, you're fine. I mean, dude, no, let's see. Happened. If if you have I, any I more questions, I'll welcome yes, back. I'm right here. Sorry. If you have any more <laughs> questions for our fabulous, <laughs> fabulous fighting Zaku here, Zaku. Yes. What is the story behind your game in game name? It's a it's a big robot I like. Gundam Sea Destiny. Woo! One of Woo! the bad guy suits in that is called the Slash Zaku Phantom. And it's got a big laser axe and fucking Gatling guns on its shoulders and it's badass. And you've done watch the anime so. though. It's so it bad. all comes together. Oh, is it's it bad <laughs> anime? Okay. It's okay. really it's it... the, it's probably one of the worst Gundam series ever. But oh. the robots are cool. <laughs> Thank you for coming on to the interview with mm. us mm. and things like that. Is there any uh departing words that you would like to give us or to the people watching at home? Go home and be a family man. <laughs> couldn't have said it better myself <laughs> slash thank you all for joining us and we'll get right back to our regularly scheduled activities don't forget Summer, to click on those so socials much. and those links for both club Basaid and discord links and the charity donation stuff so thank you so much don't forget to keep donating share the stream to your socials send it to your friends send it into your dms it doesn't matter if you're sliding into somebody else's dms just tell them it's for charity it's good they'll understand um, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> um, but other than that thank you so much for hanging out with us guys and we'll see you soon mm -hmm.